Good morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. I've got some help today. Hopefully he doesn't get in the way too much with the new baby goats. <laughs> he loves to play with those baby goats. Don't we all though? I'm getting really excited about our new baby goats that'll be coming in a week or two. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Good job. So Ryan picked me up another one of these boxes. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for. I'm thinking about um, building another brooder with it. Just have to put a lid on it, so that would be convenient. He's got this other one he picked up, so he got two. And he's gonna put the hay in this one. So he's really liked having the feed stored this way, upright, instead of laying flat on the pallet. It's been easier for him to grab bags when he needs them. And he said, you know, with the hay, we put it on a pallet, but then it all falls off on the ground around it too. And that's wasted hay. So if it was in the box, we could just scoop it up. Good morning, kitty. You're the silliest. Oh, jeez, snot on me. <laughs> you blowing snot on me. I think that was the quails fighting. <laughs> you like your tractor? Yeah. Nothing like free tractors on the side of the road to make this boy happy. You feel like a daddy? Yeah. I think daddy's a little jealous because you got a bucket on yours. He wants to play with a bucket too. That is a cool tractor, Liam. The little tractor has this, yeah? That's awesome. And these. And these, yeah. And pedals. And pedals, yeah. It's okay, I didn't understand what he said either. <laughs> Quail are getting really big really fast. Might almost be time to turn off this light and let them adjust to the normal temperatures. They are really pretty. Really happy with them. I hope we got a lot of females. Hi, time. What you doing? You looking for food? I know. Yes, you're looking for some chin rubbing too. I've lovers. I've love her nutter. I've love her nutter. I love your beard. I don't see a lot of Nubians with beards. How'd you get that, huh? Where'd this come from? Hmm? You're beautiful. Beautiful boy. Gotta love when you have to stop in the middle of doing your milking chores to go bring the child back to the house because he says, I want my butter. I want Roro. I was like, I warned you he wasn't coming. Decided to bring him back up there to be with Rowan and Dalton. Boys, boys and farm work. Fun times always. So I was just dropping off hay for the bucks. Now look over here at the duck enclosure. And up on the roof I see an egg. I think that's weird. Well yeah, that's weird. It's also been eaten by something. So we do have something getting our duck eggs, as I suspected. I don't think it's the same predator that attacked the chickens. I think it's likely that it's a possum or possibly even a crow. Now that I see that on top of there, I think more along the lines of maybe a crow doing it during the day. But we'll just uh, keep an eye out. We did have the trap over here because we were suspecting eggs were going missing. And uh, we moved it to up there because that's the path of feathers to the wood line where the raccoons took our poor little chickies. But we're, we're doing what we can and we're doing the best that we can and that's all we can do, right?
Ah, spring in Georgia. What is all that yellow, you ask? That is pine pollen. Pine pollen covers everything this time of year. Every car, every surface gets covered in a sheet of yellow dust. But if you can harvest the pine catkins and shake the pollen from it into a bag and ingest that pollen, it's actually very nutritious. I have been attempting to do that a couple of times, but most of our pine pollen is too high up for me to reach. Well, I better get in and see what those boys are up to, fix them some lunch. And I hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you for watching. You know the drill. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.